Hi, I am Dan Schmidt. Now you may know me from the TV show Team Chicago Champs, the motorcycle racing TV show. You may know me from my political clips that I put up on YouTube. But my good friend Mitch sent me this book last Christmas or Christmas before, A Man, A Can, A Grill. So uh, we're going to take one of the recipes and chicken, fog horn, fog horn, leg horn, fajitas. Now, why am I doing this? For fun. Sweetest day, what's a better thing you can do for your wife than cook dinner? And I should point out that Mitch's wife may be one of the most famous people in Hollywood she has more pictures with more stars than you can imagine. She may be Johnny Matz's best friend. So anyhow, to start out, talking about California, this is a good, good, good thing I'm going to talk about. All right, to light the coals, I am using this method where you use newspaper, you light the newspaper, newspaper burns, and that's how you light the coals without using starter fluid. As long as we're talking about California, this is sort of a primitive way of doing it, but also the politically correct way of doing it. Now, the goofballs in California, I have to make this remote, just because Biden, who's running for president, is now agreeing with uh, the governor in New York, I mean, the governor in California, who wants to have California 100% no gasoline engines by 2035. In other words, everything's going to be running on electricity. <laughs> what a card. As I'm going to like this, remember, all electricity is generated with steam, one way or the other. If you think you're going to depend on sunlight, generate all your electricity, and even Biden said the other day, we're going to have these batteries. Everybody's going to have these batteries in their basements. Okay. What's that going to cost? And everybody's going to have electric cars. Well, what happens when the sun don't shine or the wind don't blow? Well, then you're going to... Tough luck. An eternal combustion engine, the beauty of it, they always run. So that's my little commentary. You know I won't do just a cooking show without some commentary, but let's get back to the book. So we're going to do this fajitas. We're going to need a half a can of beer. I'm going to bring a bottle of beer. Mix it in with some uh, enchilada sauce. We're making a little modification. They said one and a half pounds of uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast, but we're going to use chicken thighs. And uh, flour tortillas. We're going to use flour tortillas and corn tortillas. So I'm going to modify this recipe a little bit, but it's a good starting point. And this is a... Uh, so it's put out by Men's Health. I mean, who's a better example of Men's Health than me? So let's uh, fire this up. Okay, we got the fire going here. We're gonna work real quickly now. The beautiful night in Chicago, if the airplane goes over, I'll just keep talking, I'll talk a little louder. All right, so the coals are fired up. Put them down on the lower grade. And I'm keeping them all concentrated on one side of the grill. I'm going to take my little grill cleaner real quick. You want to clean it while it's hot. Okay, all the coals on one side and I got a cool side. That's one thing they do talk about in the book. As far as how to um, 
work from one side to the other. So we've been marinating the chicken overnight. We got chicken thighs. We take the chicken out of the package, put it on the one uh, platter here. Be careful not to lose the marinade because we're going to use the marinade on the as we're cooking on the grill. So we've got four nice chicken thighs. Pour the marinade into the glass container. Okay, so we got our four thighs. First thing I'm going to do is put the thighs onto the grill. And I'm going to put it on the hot side. I'm going to put the skin, well, these are skinless, but I'm going to put the meaty part down first. We go about three minutes. Pour the rest of this marinade in. Now I'm going to quickly start on the onion. So we're going to use a whole onion here. I'm going to trim off both sides. Sure is nice having sharp knives. So let me tell you, a sharp knife is a safe knife. that last piece of skin off of here. And then we're going to hone it out. We're going to put a little butter and we're going to cook this whole. I'm going to use a soft butter because this Land O'Lakes also has canola oil. Not going to be cheap with the butter. Take one of these aluminum foil sheets, prepared. We'll make a little bonnet. We'll put this right on the grill right away. All right, it's about two and a half minutes on the chicken right now. For another minute, then I'm going to flip them. In the meantime, we start preparing our peppers. Got one red, one yellow, and one orange. The peppers are here for a second. I'm going to flip the chicken.
We'll go three minutes on the other side. Now the peppers, go in here, just clean them out a little more. Actually, let me uh, cut them in half, so we'll have quarters. Like I said, a sharp knife is a good instrument. Clean out all the membranes. All right, now I'm going to toss these on the far side of the grill right now. Got another minute on the chicken now. I'm gonna start grilling the peppers. We'll move them around. Before I flip the chicken, I'm gonna base it one time. Got a nice plastic brush here. I'm gonna base the peppers and then we're gonna turn them over. Get some grill marks on them. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to move the chicken off the direct heat, I'll move the onion onto the direct heat, and I'm going to flip the peppers over on the direct heat for maybe a minute. Flip the chicken one more time and move it off the direct heat. Put this pepper, put the onion right on the hot heat. peppers on the hot heat, the hot side of the grill, for maybe a minute, minute and a half. We're going to marinate the chicken again. So while we got a chance, while I'm letting everything sit there, let me tell you how we made the, according to the book, a man, a can, a grill, foghorn, leghorn, fajitas. Well, they said use the can of enchilada sauce. We, we couldn't find any can of enchilada sauce. And it said a half a can of beer. We put half a can of beer in, and we bought Chi Chi's mild veronese sauce. And uh, I'm gonna finish up. I use for beer. I use the Yang Lane, which is America's oldest brewery. Can't get it in Illinois. Black and tan. And I'll finish that beer up. And I have my WIRA, Western Eastern Road Race Association, National Championship, EBC Break, National Championship Mug. Okay.
But back over on the grill, let's check these uh, peppers. The main thing you're looking for on the peppers is just to soften them up. You're not really cooking them. The onion, you really want a lot of heat on the onion because the onion, you want to sort of cook the onion through and leave it whole. And then when we open it up, it'll be great. And then, when we're ready to pull the peppers off in another minute or two, then I'll uh, flip the chicken again, cover, put the cover on, and let it bake for about eight or nine minutes. Okay, I'm going to do one more marinade real quick. I took the peppers off the grill, because then I'm going to prepare the peppers. Do a little more marinade again, because then I'm going to flip chicken again one more time. Keep it on the cooler side. The onion I got right smack dab in the warmest part of the grill. I can feel it's getting soft, so it should be pretty well done. I'm gonna flip the flip the chicken. about six minutes aside, but we're going to bake it now. I'm going to put the lid on. Make sure the vents are open. I'm going to put the vent away from where the hot coals are, so the hot air comes through and vents. The bottom vents are all open. We're going to bake them for five minutes on each side, so I'll pay attention to that. Now that the peppers are rested, I'm gonna slice them into, um, not real thin strips, but I'm gonna slice them into strips. You wanna slice a pepper with the pepper up until you cut through all the way. All right, the peppers we're putting in, a, in the foil to keep them warm. Let me check my uh, time here. Well, it looks like we've had enough minutes as we bake the rest of the chicken. Time to take it off the grill. on the platter. I believe the onions had enough time on the grill. We're putting our uh, peppers. I gotta throw the peppers back on the grill for a minute. And now we're going to put the, now their menu only calls for flour tortillas, but my dear wife likes corn, so I went and found some inexpensive, locally produced corn, put it in aluminum, we're going to heat it up on the grill for um, four or five minutes while I carry everything in.
I'll separate them on the aluminum foil. Throw this on the hotter part of the grill. And then the flour tortilla, because when I do them in the house, I just turn the, the burner on and cook them right on the burner. That's how my dear friend Jesse Hernandez showed me how to properly warm up flour tortillas. Then we're gonna finish everything up in the house. We'll break the chicken down, slice it up into little pieces, and we'll build our fajitas in the house. Okay, we got everything in the house. Let's get the onion unwrapped, Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it looks beautiful. The onion looks beautiful. See the beans, the peppers. Peppers look lovely. Because we use thighs, and I could be able to really shred these pieces of chicken, so I'm gonna work on slicing. Okay, got the onion. Oh, it's beautiful. And then we can begin to build our tortillas. Chicken pieces. Beautiful peppers. Grilled onion. And we'll finish it off with Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. And I work, as I work on mine using the flour tortilla that I just threw on the grill, that's going to be it from uh, a man a can, a grill, celebrating Sweetest Day, and 
thanks to my good friend Mitch who sent it. And this is dedicated to both Mitch and his dear wife Lois. And say hello to Johnny. It was big fun putting this show together and a special thanks to my dear wife Joyce. She is a wonderful camera person. Now to contact me, and I'd love to hear from my audience, my email is teamdan45 at gmail.com. And I highly recommend a trip to the Jim Kirsting's World of Motorcycle Museum, just south of uh, North Judson, Indiana, on Indiana 39. For a good phone number, give them a call at 574-896-3172. And maybe you'll run into me, because it is a great museum. <laughs>